And we back. It's back that wonder time. So, uh, <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, Billy T here along with Rocky Road Productions and Miss Fifi. Yeah. We're late because she was busy doing all this stuff. You know, well, I'm not supposed to say that no more. You know, no. I mean, cute is cute. You got to get it. Why not? <laughs> Crazy. How y'all doing today? A good Thursday to you? It all is right. a good one. A good liquid, sunshiny Thursday. I was going to say, the rain has ended and it's yeah. kind of a little sun peeking to me. And that. the real reason why we was a little delayed, guys, was because I was ripping and running trying to push this rain down the street so we won't get wet <laughs> up on the porch. Y'all welcome. Thank you, Miss mm. Fifi. Look at people being, I love it. I love when people be appreciative. Look at you appreciating Something is really wrong with you, homie. <laughs> it was crazy, and it's just what it is. But uh, it's fall, y'all. It's October the first. Is it fall winter. already? It is fall. It's it winter. Is actually, the leaves are starting off. to change a little bit. It's it's cooling off a little bit. Um, so I mean, is it officially fall on the calendar? Though? It's all. It was fall last week. It was. Yeah. Where the hell was yeah. I? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> sleeping, I guess. Hey, stand it. Gee whiz! What you didn't it? know it was fall. No, I didn't fall know. Fall is at the end of September. Like the 20th, 21st, something like that. I didn't know that. Uh, it's winter. <laughs> Smack dab. The world reached a new milestone in corona deaths. What really? Is, what is that milestone? Six million. The world, the whole world. <laughs> Nightmare to death.com. How many people have died worldwide from coronavirus? Um, two million eight hundred. If you guys don't know this, uh, I'm turning the camera off right now. Don't do you that. You are not supposed to be this unaware of what is going on in the I'm world. Not, I'm not unaware. I know what's going on on the people, block. You know what? We, we, don't, know we know on the block. You don't that know. people are dying. You don't we know. know that. We don't How many know people that. have just died in, in the world? It was no new deaths on the block. My ears to the streets. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> well, yeah. maybe not on the block, but worldwide, <laughs> one million people have died. Mm. Of course, here in America, it's over. Just went over. 100,000. 200,000. Are you cheating? No. <laughs> I was 100,000 short. Don't you play me. I mean, enough. give or take. Oh, my you people, know. my people, my people. But anyway, that's where we are with that. Mm -hmm. uh, but that on to the news, like. The NFL had two teams that had uh, breakouts of uh, corona, corona cases. I mean, yeah, they spread really? nasty. And I think they canceled one of the games. Uh, Wait, so when Tennessee they... Titans and Pittsburgh Steelers has been canceled. Oh, the Titans! I like the yeah, Titans. Yeah, yeah. So what's hap What's going to happen when more of these guys get the corona? Okay, my question How's that is: How's going to affect the football season? My question is: Was it just two people on the team that got it, or was it like a whole bunch? Two. Of people? It was a couple people, and now more people. It started with two people, mm -hmm. but a few others have have contracted. So contact whatever contracted. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're you know they had to shut it down. Okay. So you know. May a, maybe a week or so. I'm sure in a couple of weeks they'll be back. But why, uh, are they going to just send those people home and say, let's keep playing? Mm -hmm. yeah, they're Does keep someone playing. have Absolutely. to die? Definitely. What if one football person died from the corona? Would they shut down the season? No. They, they, they shut down for a couple, a couple weeks and, why and they is keep that? going. Because it's about but money. It's all about the money. If it's the money game. Crazy. It's all about the money. Y'all are crazy. They, what? More than that, like, I just feel like I mean, we can't shut down life. Yeah, I'm we just can't. It. But we can lose life. When people do we die say? Every day, B. Okay, so when do we say the hell with people dying? Hell they're gonna die. Let's just go on with life as if nothing's happening. I'm not. Is that, our, is that our? Is that our stance? Is I'm, that what we do? Okay. No, I mean, what I want to know is what the hell is the difference in you having that statement last year this time? It's all about the money this year this time. I mean, I get it. I get it that there are more and stuff, and I I hate that. But at the same time, again, people die every day. Okay, baby. so and I ain't so, trying to sound crazy. No, no, I, I hear, I hear what you're, you're saying, Donald Trump. Really do. The hell with people. Donald if they Trump. die, Delicia. they I die. Am. If it's they Delicia. die, they die. Did he slap her upside the head? Let them die. Trump? Just let okay. them die yep. because the economy must go on. Okay, so sit in the house. What? Are, okay, so Billy, what do you propose that they do? Because I, unless I don't know, I mean, they take a bleach bath, and, and we wearing gloves, masks. What else you want them to do? Well, you have to do something. You can't just say life as usual. They doing something. What they want? They tell you. They <laughs> testing orangutans and giraffes right now to, um, with the vaccine to make sure uh, that they gonna they gonna be straight. And y'all about to bring the whole damn uh, coronavirus and, to the world. And armadillos. <laughs> they they testing them right now to make sure that this vaccine works. So what the hell else are they supposed to do other than tell people to drink some Robitussin? I mean that's where we are. Listen, why they got why? 
Why? Let uh, them die. Why test them? Let them why die. don't they get them rats off New York City streets? Let them die. Rat they get the rats from down there in Hart Plaza just running around that little thing. They don't got to go that far. Let them die. <laughs> just go ahead and grab the ones from Hart Plaza. You're, you're going to die anyway, make me so happy. may as well die from this. I'm just saying. That's the, that's the, you, you know, I'm, I understand people are tired of it and everything, mm -hmm. but that means it's gone. So. Oh, nobody said it was gone. But it, they you know, care more about mo they care more about money than lives. Definitely, exactly. that's what it's about. Don't yeah, we all? Yeah, but but what you gonna do with money when you dead? I mean, come back and get some okay. more. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm saying there is a point that we have to be back working and doing things. But you know, Disney just laid off twenty eight thousand people. The airlines are laying off mm -hmm. fifty thousand people because there is no movement and there's you know and it, and it's not safe. So, so that's not bad. But here's the thing, though. The economy so that's and not sickness bad. does not give a damn about your mortgage or anything else you have to pay. They, they come at you with that stuff at the beginning, like, oh, we're going to, you can't evict nobody or nothing like that. But trust me, it's a limit to that. You it's a limit to everything. All the money that's due. So it's the world don't everything. stop. They don't stop expecting bills because of a, a worldly disaster, God-given disaster, or whatever disaster comes in. They don't give a damn about that. Because it's all about the money. Yeah. The world don't move without that money. Money is your God. Exactly. It's all money about the money. Money is the white man's God. Kanye West. And he got your President, candidate, presidential candidate, the God of Kanye money. West said. Kanye, Kanye West listen, said something? Listen, I've been looking for him. Where's he Presidential been? candidate Kanye West said in one of his songs that, um, The Good Life, he said that, <laughs> um, <laughs> he said, having money is not everything, but not having it is. Baby. Got, got that right. Boop. Can you put and, a, and we ain't that got that none. Is, I'm just Ooh, saying, that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's so. not everything, but when you don't have it, baby, that's everything, Wait, okay? On. It is. The president, presidential elect, who is also a Gemini, like the yeah. current president that we have, who is also a Gemini like me, we have the brains. Yeah, but you um, don't, oh, shit. <laughs> so you don't just be saying anything, though. He say anything. It's really because of some of the music. <laughs> just like Donald Trump, you just say anything. You know what they're doing now. You know what Facebook is doing. What? They're about hey. to shut down all the DJs because they're going to shut them down oh, yeah. for playing music. That's why I'm going to play 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't know if you get 30 seconds, 50, but they're stopping the DJs who've been doing these lives. They're going to shut those down. Because they want their money. The, they yeah. feel like that's free promotion. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? It Everything is, is about money. Exactly. While we sitting up talking about, and, and we don't even, ain't even in position, baby. You can't miss too many payments. In our position, we not in that position. Why are we talking about people's lives? I care about people's lives. I don't, you know, I, I don't do. wish anybody. No, I'm speaking he not from an emotional standpoint. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking from humanity. That goes oh, without being yes, said. Yes, the hell with humanity. No, we have none of that. Not, That's gone. They're That's not out the window. Oh, out God. Of humanity. No humanity. They're not operating out of humanity. America so why am I about to talk about humanity. something that we feel it should be America instead of talking no about humanity. what is? That goes without being said. That's I, anybody right. who don't get that. Hello, what the hell? Get, take your ass on out there. Send your kids to school then. No, I'm kids not. Kids are but, going to school. See, 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 are your kids going to school? I don't got no kids, but I'm no, saying. No, this one here. I, no, send them to it, school. It don't matter. Going to school. Send, then send them to school. We're talking about send them to again. We're not send them talking to school. about us. Oh no, not you. Oh, let We're everybody else die. No, you. Oh, you're I the get point. it now. Let you're everybody else die. The point, Billy. You. But my kids. You are oh, all, no, you and your mine. emotions are not hearing what I'm saying. What I'm saying no, is no, we're not talking saying. about this how we operate. Right now. I don't got time. <laughs> we don't talk <laughs> about how, <laughs> right, what's his name, Andrew Como? What are we doing? We're not talking about how we operate. We're talking about how no. the system <laughs> operates. It's not to our benefit to sit up and twirl our thumbs and fingers and, and wish upon a star about how things should be. We talking about how things are. They do not care. I care about my kids, so that's why they're not going to school. But they don't care. And you you will know, because stop paying your bills, because you're trying to save lives. Sad news to happened. report. Sad news. What you got? Chrissy Teigen has, uh, has had a miscarriage. It would have been oh, her yeah, and John Legend's yeah. third child, and she had a miscarriage. How about far along was she? About six months? No, huh? she birthed the baby, but the oh. baby was bleeding too much, and they gave it all the fluids they could, and okay. it still wasn't enough, and so they lost the baby. She she actually gave birth yeah. at, when she was supposed to. Yeah, yeah, I think they even had a picture of her in the shade. See, I know you oh, won't be goodness. in the shade room. But in the shade room, she was she holding, holding the baby, baby. Mm -hmm. and looking so that. heartbroken, and John oh, Legend was on the was side. With her. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's How terrible. How old is she? How old is she? Jack, though. You say how old is she? Yeah. She's about 35, maybe. She's oh. not too old to have a baby. I don't the baby know name is Jack. why I be thinking these people be yep, 40 and 45. And... 
I don't think she's that old. She's even older than... I don't think Chrissy Teigen's that old. Hmm. Uh, also, good news, Nicki Minaj gave birth to her first child. Oh, yes, he got all my spoons. And we up. don't know the, the baby's name or the baby's sex. Well, we do know the baby daddy, though, don't we? <laughs> Some off the wall, Negro. <laughs> Kenneth Petty. Who is he and... Why? Petty. Like He's her. a little petty, ain't he? Pe well, his last name is Petty. Chrissy Teigen's Your 34 name years old. You are. She's 34. Chrissy Teigen. Oh, so they, okay. they, they can, they can. She's a year younger than me. Okay. Yeah. She can still work it out. Yeah, definitely. They got two other kids, so, but that's still sad. It uh is. So who's this guy, Petty? Who is this Petty guy? Some dude she married. Oh, Nicki Minaj has. Yeah. That's Bay. Wasn't he a gangster or something like a, a criminal? They, they tried to accuse him of being like a pedophile. Oh. Um, that he went to jail family, for that. don't they? They do kind of run her brother's a pedophile. Maybe. Maybe so. She, you know, keep it in the family. <laughs> they run her family. Help me, Lord. I, I, you know what? That, that, I ain't say that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's my girl right here. She crazy. She crazy. She said, Just observation. I mean, yeah. Sometimes the truth is un unfavorable. Did y'all watch that debate? I sure did, and I just want to talk about, despite all the stuff deep you gonna get to talk about. I'm not gonna say. Anything. I want to talk about how Trump called Biden out on his mask. Like he said, Biden could be 200 feet away on the other side, but he gonna have that mask on, and it's gonna be the biggest mask you've ever he seen. He said that. that Trump said that. Took me. Wait a minute. Out. Trump said that. Uh, yeah, it took me out. Matter of fact, it took me out so much so, and no, I'm not a Trump supporter, so be smooth. But it took me out so much so that I had to save the clip in my that's Instagram feed. I had funny. to save it because that—I mean, that's funny. That will forever. Well, first of all, it was, was it was the, it was the Donald like, Trump show. Body language was hilarious. It was the Donald me. Trump show. Well, and yeah. you know it's going to be that. So I don't even know why they're wasting time. No, with it's the debates. United States of America show because that's how it's we look. It's the Donald Trump that's reality how we show. And he's using the United States as his pla as his backdrop, and it's 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 embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's it's sad, and it's troubling. Uh, I don't know why anybody would would vote for this guy. I know that a lot of people do. I want to. If you don't get out and vote this time, and those people who are on the sideline, undecided, uh, I don't think I'm gonna vote and all that crap. This ain't the time for that. Listen, let me say this: oh. You can only clean your house up so many times before CPS come and play like you really catch your house clean and you taking care of your kids. At some point, they're going to pop up on your trifling ass and find out that you don't. I said that to say this. Yeah, do please, you honestly, I, please do you honestly, tie that together for me. Do you honestly <laughs> think that as sick as this country is, that it's not going to come through or something like that? You think we hide it? No, this is, that is just a symptom of the sickness of this country. Oh, but see, yeah. the thing Absolutely. is, we want to sweep all that. the stuff behind the door, behind the rug. But this is what you're looking at. This is America. This is and everybody else looking at America like they dumb. They're a motherfucker. And it's true. I mean, it, it's true. We stand, we let all this, all this stuff has gotten out of hand. And we have allowed it as if we don't understand that we are the ones that truly united in power and functioning like we should run the show. But we ain't figured it out yet. No, we have not. Well, you know what they have no, figured out? Yet. Yeah, it's the same speech every time. Rolling Stone has figured out the top albums okay. ever. <laughs> the top albums ever. They gave like 500 of them. Yeah, you can get 500 albums. Uh, the number one album. Well, let me say, I'll start with these. Uh, number 10 was Lauryn Hill. The uh, Miseducation? Miseducation? Baby, yeah. Well, that I, say, is. I love that album. I was just listening to some of that today. Uh, Prince yeah, was funny. number yeah, eight with me. Purple Rain. Okay. okay. I, I like that one. Two Geminis. Keep going. Uh, Stevie Wonder, <laughs> Songs in the Key of Life, was number four. That's what's up. What, what song is here's, on that? Here's what. Oh, just well, name one. Me. Huh? Is I Just Call on here? Yep. Um, no, no, no. That came later. Um, so, um, isn't she lovely? Oh, okay. Uh, Sir Duke. Um, just so many. Um, it's interesting though. Mm -hmm. Mar Michael Jackson is not in the top ten at all. That's I don't know where he fell. Is he in the top? Five? I need to speak to the manager. I, he's not in the top ten. I need to speak to the manager. No, I need to speak to the manager. But the number one album I agree with one hundred percent is what Marvin Gaye. And it's so appropriate that this this album, if you ever listen to the whole album, uh, Ecology, Mercy, Mercy Me, all these songs, oh. mm -hmm. they are still relevant today. Is Let's Get It On on that one? No. That, okay. that yeah, was the next the album. Black Struggle never <laughs> stops. That's why. Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny, really, though? That was really Marvin Gaye's only socially conscious album. And the whole, the whole thing was 
socially conscious. Uh, everything, everything else, else about was, doing it. Yeah, pretty much. Let's do it. Hey, we need them some. <laughs> That's what keeps the world going around. Don't you want to see life? We need it. Hey. Love some Marvin Gaye, though. Gotta find a way. Gotta just sing, get that boot. To bring some loving here today. Eugene Brown, Flint Town. What's hey. up, brother? What's up? Uh, okay. okay. Also, Chad, Chadwick Bozeman, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. just passed away. Mm -hmm. His last will includes gifts for all of us. For me? Yes, you especially will like this. What am I getting? The Wakanda Foundation will send a free bottle of Chadwick's own CBD oil hmm. to anyone who needs it. It's Ain't a, that something? It's an extra strength oil. Because, you know, he had the, the cancer, and, and this was what he used to, to ease his pain. So what I want to know is how many names can you use for address? <laughs> He used it during his uh, ca battle with cancer, and they say the stuff is flying off the shelves. It's his own brand, oh, that's crazy. and uh, and they're going to give away, if you need it, he's going to give you a, a free bottle. Yeah, what I want to know is how many names can we use for address? Stop <laughs> being greedy. Just get one I and be happy. I just want to be resourceful. You probably get about right. 20. You know, you no. might get about 20. You're not supposed to do that. I mean, yeah, I, mean I wouldn't do it, but we just talking hypothetically. hypothetically. I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for the streets. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> right, she is a plug. What do you want from her? Oh. He's he a plug. People so judgmental, <laughs> ain't they? They mm -hmm. always want to judge somebody. Yep, I mean, yep. let a nigga live. You know. What else you Look got, in the mirror. Uh, Rocky? What else you got? You well, since you didn't took half my goddamn store. Listen. Well, now, hey now, hey, hey now, hey now, hey now. You know, his, you know, hey uh, Mission and Chad with though, let me tell y'all this. I did see, um, I read somewhere, and you know, I ain't getting no names or nothing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to that. But I did oh. see somewhere that he got a movie coming out. It's supposed to be coming out. My um, Rainey's Black Bottom. Yes, the Black Bottom. Movie. And it come out in by December. Denzel Washington. Yep, in December. Uh, Viola Davis is in hey, it. Hey, male lady. Male lady. You <laughs> had to wait to the rain stop, huh? I'll keep an umbrella. Uh, she said she called. I ain't baby. mad at you. Thank you. Thank you. That ain't my box right there. That ain't my box. That big old box. No, I wish so I could drop it. <laughs> you can. You can. We'll take care of it for him. <laughs> take care now. Got a little sunshine in the day with. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yep. Just stay in there a couple of more days. I get to. It. Okay. Ain't nothing but some bills anyway. Like they. Yeah. Rain Rain well oh, here come your FedEx. Here come your FedEx. They well off. Oh, they yeah, they are well off. You know what I'm saying? They're well off. Yeah. yeah. They got the Fed earlier. Amazon was up in here. They got bricks. The they mail well agents came. This, and this little cul-de-sac. And my First man coming all, with the FedEx. I am not Tasha St. Patrick, okay? Mm. I'm not mm. playing with you. Mm. She Takesha St. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene Brown says the album was, record, was recorded at Motown Studio B oh, on wow. da, on Davidson in Detroit. Come through really? with the facts, baby. Okay. Come through with the facts. Oh, wow. Eugene knows his stuff. Um, Eugene, what's the name of your radio show? Hey, Mr. FedEx uh, man. Hey, now. See, she get well off. You well off. You get the packages, my man. Good looking. Good Thank looking. you. We appreciate it. All right. Um, I worked with, with Eugene up in Flint at WDZZ many, many years ago. <laughs> Uh, he was the music director, great guy, and uh, now he's got his own uh, internet station or show, Eugene. I, I can't remember which one, but he does a lot of great interviews mm -hmm. on there, and uh, definitely okay. worth checking out. We'll plug that. Put it in there, Eugene, so we can plug that for you. Um, shout out to my man, uh, DJ Babe. He's opening his uh, Motor City Popcorn, uh, the new location. Oh, on, I heard about something like that. On uh, Seven Mile, just west of Livernois, Motor hmm. City Popcorn. Grand opening Tuesday, if y'all want to go over. That's in the, which yes. one district? Um, just uh, in the uh, Avenue of Fashion. Avenue of Fashion, yeah. So it's just off the Ave. Tuesday is going to be the grand opening. At what time? Uh, October 6th, I believe. You said Seven Mile, Livernois? Seven Mile, Livernois. Seven mile, Livernois. Which one? Just west of Livernois. Just west, west of Livernois. Past okay. that First Independence Bank. So it's on Seven Mile. Okay, on I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, on West yeah, Seven yeah, Mile. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Eugene Radio. U E U G E R A D I O. U G Radio. Yeah. So check out Eugene uh, doing this thing up there in Flint. What else you got, Rocky Road? So y'all remember those, those officers were shot. Mm, Which were ones? Oh, were in ambushed. L.A. Mm. So Deontay Lee Murray, he's 36 years old, has been arrested and charged with premeditated attempted murder Lock in connection up. with Lock the ambush shoot, shooting mm -hmm. of those two L.A. county deputies. They were sitting outside of the Metro Blue Line Station in 
Compton on September 12th. Compton shouldn't have been yeah. there. They're about to have gang codes on. Shouldn't have been there. That blue, they don't be playing. Niecy Nash is celebrating her 30 days of marriage. She to made wife. it 30 days. Yes, Jessica Betts. And people is dragging her in the comments. They talking about they look forced. They don't really seem into it. You ain't tell us uh, why if you want to uh, marry a bull dagger, you just not get a man. All type of comments. That ain't none of their business. They said bull dagger. They said that. Did they say bull Baby. dagger? Baby. Do people you still use Baby, that? that's what I'm trying to tell you. They use the retro words on her ass. <laughs> Rudy Ray Moore used to say that word. <laughs> Bulldagger, baby. <laughs> bulldagger. They were serious. <laughs> okay, so Jeez. I'm gonna go ahead and come and be honest on this. I use that. They said studs. Oh, so. oh okay. Oh, you went old school. I was like, dang. They said studs. Yeah, they call them studs. Bulldagger. They call them studs now. Studs. Yeah, you're right. Dykes or whatever. They they call them uh, what's old girl on um set it off. They call it that too. What's who? What the Latifah? Latifah? Yeah, what was her name? Oh, I can't Cleo. Her name. They call him Cleo. Cleo too. Do they oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, that's a that's, that's a, a new word. One. Yeah. That's a new one. Mm. Cleo. Look at Cleo. That. I gotta remember that one. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good oh one. God, that's a good one. Look, what up, Cleo? Cleo. <laughs> like damn. I'm thinking about psychics when you say Cleo. Huh? Cleo the psychic. That's true. Yeah, remember? Yeah. Wasn't she scamming? Was she? Yeah, she was. You uh, told she, everybody the same story. She, like, you uh, about to come up. That's she all used I got the Jamaican you. accent. I'm Cleo, Lady Cleo, Madam Cleo. She was from Cleveland. Mm. Okay, she wasn't. On, and she was not Jamaican. That's ignorant as hell. <laughs> she had a See, good accent. It's always she did a one good of, time. Was good. It was all. It's always one of our ridiculous accents. I'm just saying, Miss Cleo creative. was good at what she did. Yeah, though. you just got to be creative out here. Hello. Listen, yeah, we in the world of. Uh, you want to talk about right and wrong? Well, well, what's your president doing? Your president's okay. Oh, okay, but it's so okay with Miss Cleo. Oh, yes, okay, leave Miss Cleo alone. <laughs> The city was in the hypocrisy. You must, you must the have hypocrisy. called. You must have called Miss Cleo once or twice. The hypocrisy. No, <laughs> I ain't did. never called her. She did. I ain't never I called her. I think she passed away, didn't she? No, did she? For lying. Who? Oh, you know who passed away? Ooh. And she was doing it. She Ooh. was doing the, uh, the the psychic line. Sylvia Brown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Don't say, I'm uh, sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Florida. Sylvia. Florida Evans. Wheezy. No, it's Wheezy. Wait a minute. No, she Florida. Really Florida. Been Florida, Florida was doing. Or was it Wheezy? That's Isabel no, Stafford. No, it was Florida. It was it was Florida. Ain't that the same? Okay. No. Isabel Florida Stafford was not, Weezy. Um, Florida, Florida, Evans. Florida Evans. Florida Evans. Florida Evans been gone, ain't she? She died, and somebody made a terrible joke. What did they say? She should have saw it coming. <laughs> Who the hell said that? <laughs> it was a terrible joke. Going you around. need your ass whooped. It should have got a whooping. Yeah, Miss sure. Cleo. So, uh... Chris Como was Miss Cleo, Mi in. No, Miss Cleo died in uh, 2016. She did that? She died? Yeah. Hmm. And guess where she died? In Florida. Yeah, you See? think they gave her the, the needle? Somebody came and she should have saw it coming. She should have saw it coming. I think I somebody ran up on Miss Cleo. Well, to be continued. We okay. ain't seen that shit pop up on Lifetime yet, but it probably will. Now we bring it up. Yeah, great story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Chris Como goes in on Ted Cruz. I was watching that last night. About I was not taking that. the president. He yep. said, "Ask him. Does he think he go ask him? Does he think that?" Um, he going to smack him down. Like, do you think Trump's going to smack you or something? <laughs> the same man that called you stupid and called, and called your, wife your wife ugly? ugly. I said, And talked oh, about your daddy. Wow. He pulled it all out. But you know what? That's the, the truth. And then, and then Cuomo, I mean, uh, uh, he was talking Ted, about your daddy. Ted Cruz said, wow, why are you going to try and embarrass me? Oh, it embarrasses you. you know, Chris didn't say this, but I was, oh, it embarrasses you when I say it, but not when the president says it. That's okay with you. That's the hypocrisy of it. That's the BS. Who was it. talking about somebody's he, daddy? No fighting words. Donald Trump. They scared of Trump. He's he's scared. He's, you're scared he's he's gonna you scared he's going to spank you? No, he's scared he's going to ruin his smack career. Smack you down. Yeah. That's ain't what he's scared about. But but he's right. The ass whooping he can recover from the ruin of his career. That's but that's the story. that's the smackdown is the ruining of his career. Mm -hmm. But Cruz is weak. He's weak and pathetic. And I don't know how. Same thing with uh, oh, Lil Rubio. All of them who <laughs> let this guy <laughs> Lindsey Graham. They let him just demoralize <laughs> them, basically castrate them, and now they're on his bandwagon. Because if you can't beat them, join them. That's well, I guess that's the that's what they're doing. I think that's I think that's the problem with America is we go for anything if we can get something out of it. It's like, oh yeah, well I'm gonna I know that I have to do this to be reelected because his clones will 
not vote for me if I don't support him. Every so you action support the non the, the, you support the ridiculous. Every action get a reaction, though, however that's supposed to go. So but I'm just, it's the sad part of, of politics in America. That's life. Could it be yeah, that it some people are afraid of success because they think that they're going to lose their soul? Because to be about quite honest, it's easy to say something. And listen, I like to keep it all the way on the white light side. But at the same time, it's easy to say a lot. But the more power you get, the more you want. And the more you're willing to compromise. Yep. So again, yep. we sitting yep. on our Absolutely. front porch. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a chef in the kitchen. These people do, and That's a lot true. more other stuff. Does we, that make it right? It's not about okay. right. It's yeah, just no, giving no, no, you no, no, a no. Reason. That's the problem. We say it ain't about right. Right? Get all you can get. Greed is good. That's what's wrong with America. And it, I can compromise all of my uh, values. And these are supposed to be Christian people, like the, the evangelical right. How do you support a man like Donald Trump? And these guys, I understand the politics of it, but the reality is you're, you're, you've compromised everything that you're supposed to be about, which they're about nothing anyway, and this just shows that because they cannot stand up for themselves and speak out to this man. And, and they, listen, they, 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 so, so to say that that's right and that's okay, I do not condone that. I do not compromise like that. To play devil's advocate, and I'm going to go ahead and say it. I know people are going to be mad, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. Um, arguably, it's a lot of people that feel like Joe Biden is the devil, too. So yeah. you're still supporting the devil to he, get another it, one stop, out. Stop. Y'all will still stop. say both. I'm, stop. I'm not even going to go along with this lesser of two evils. Joe Biden is not an evil man. I think he's a decent man. Because you know him personally. Look, I know him personally. You can call him up. I know. You want me to call him? <laughs> call him. This, <laughs> and I'm saying, boy. <laughs> I think that Donald people Trump don't know what they is would be more doing. evil than Joe Biden ever would be. And I don't think Joe Biden would be promoting white supremacists. I don't think he would be supporting all of this negativity that's going on in, in the country today. So if somebody says, Billy T, I want to sleep with you, but I just got a little gonorrhea. Not a lot, but a oh, little. You going to take the no. chance on that? No, oh, that's okay. totally that's different. What that's what I'm, that's what I'm totally trying to different. ask. No, it's not. That's completely different. Okay, okay so, so okay, with that theory, what you're saying is this one's really evil, and this one might not be as evil, but he's got some evil in him. Well... Uh, I'm not gonna vote for either one. No, this one is evil and this one evil evil. Okay, so you're not so you don't want either one of them, so you don't vote. See, that's where they want you to be. They want you to not vote. And let me say this to people who still feel that way. If you don't vote, guess what? Your vote doesn't count. And if you feel like your vote doesn't count, guess what? It doesn't. So my question is, um, um Come on through, sis. Which one of them trying to make us take the damn vaccine? Vaccine. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I'm not taking it till they Biden get that. Exactly. Till they I'm get it, I'm not taking no. it right out the box. Once they I'm get it perfected, shit, I don't even take then, flu shots. But baby, it's gonna be over in about a year is, anyway. So. Oh God. You no, you don't think niggas <laughs> was saying that when when the flu had first came out when it first dropped. Now the flu right, shot the has flu been around has... for the flu shot has been around fifty years. How long it, has it, the it, flu it, been it, around? Nobody died from the flu shot. That's a good point. We talking about the corona is here to stay. So. If you want to sit in well, your house for the rest of your life, it's the new cold. Once the new cold they flu, come up like, with a vaccine that's safe, no, then I'll consider still taking get it. it. Why? I mean, listen, I'm I, people. People been living for years. Ain't never took the fucking flu shot. Ain't never had the flu or nothing like that or whatever. And here it is. You know, but you they, might not need but, the but, vaccine. But every time you go corona. to CVS, they trying to make you take it, right? You don't think that's gonna be the same way for um. For, for, for Corona, but what I'm saying is you don't have to take it if you're fine. You're no, fine. but some thing, people do. All I'm saying is people gonna try stuff. to they exactly they they making yeah. people like I I know personally of people that have turned down jobs and stuff like that because they're not trying to go and take this um, Corona test. There is or no so oh the test. I don't know why you wouldn't take the test to get a job. Why do you have to? to if I'm not job, sure you know symptoms to make sure you're safe. How how am I sure if if. The only reason you should make me um, do something to show that I'm safe is for you to feel, for you to, for me to be showing you reasons that you should think that I'm not safe. If I'm coming in here the same way you did and I'm taking the same temperature, they w waving this wine across my forehead everywhere you go, the same way they're doing you, why would I have you to go and take a whole test? Ass. I'm with you on that. That don't even make no I'm sense. I'm with you on that. So you making you forcing me to go in, in and do but something. But the test is just a test. But you making Listen, me wear a mask matter. and I'm still touching shit. I'm still wearing a mask. We still wear a mask, right? Because we have to. Yeah. It don't matter. A mask is not that big a deal. 
A test? But a test, yes. I'm not trying to do that. I I'm have not, not had the test. You're not about to tell me I got to take a test to come in your in your establishment. Well, guess what? Keep your establishment, sweetheart. There you go. That's okay. That's yeah. Exactly. I feel the same way. But but I what agree. I'm saying is, who, you, you, I think that at the end of the day, one, one of my biggest concerns is, who is team, team, um, do everything corona do everything covid like who 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 um is for the vaccines who trying to make us take it who rest. trying to make us do all this stuff you know what i'm saying like i don't I, i'm not for that i don't agree with that it's bullshit either way you made the point we're just sage you know i had to burn something before i came because i knew i was coming to some deep but you need to burn some more Woo. Sage. i'm done with you lady, i'm burning some cannabis <laughs> Whatever calms you down. Baby. Because y'all crazy. <laughs> we crazy? Yes, it we ain't crazy. Us. Everybody know it ain't me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody don't know that. Man. I'm just curious why Michael Jackson wasn't in the top ten. <laughs> because somebody got you guys have a favorite Michael Jackson album. Not no album. I, love I got this song right here you about to play. This is actually my favorite Michael Jackson album, Off the Wall. It was soulful. It was it was it had some disco on it. It was very you know, the other stuff was pop, which was cool. Had a little jazzy flavor to it. This is a little jazzy right here. Michael was a bad boy. <laughs> this is some brown liquor by the water That's right there. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all ready for Would You Rather? So oh, you got anything else? What else you got? Uh, interesting. Look. <laughs> You no, everything's been interesting. Right Don't now. get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm just... You know what? I'm going to skip some because we're not about to talk about Trump no more. Okay. So, Thank you. Um, Thank you, honey. I don't know if y'all be paying attention to NeNe from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, NeNe Leakes. Atlanta. Yes, of course. But there was a clip of We love NeNe. Peter. We love to hate NeNe. <laughs> She's the one you love to hate. <laughs> we, uh, there's a clip out there with her and Peter, which is actually her old best friend, Cynthia's mm -hmm. ex-husband. Oh, and oh, they all kind of oh, hugged oh, up. She's talking about oh. happy birthday. It looked really inappropriate, but... Oh. But it's her Nene has ex. always kind of flirted with Peter, though. Mm -hmm. And they called her out for that. And this is why I tell y'all, Greg Leakes, I, I, I don't mean now, him no harm. Are they still Greg. together? Are they still together? Yes. Greg Leakes, I don't mean him no harm. I'm not saying nothing wrong with him. But I'm thinking that for whatever reason, I just say this, your wife is not just satisfied with you. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't go nowhere. I don't want another man touching me. I don't like another man too close to me. And I'm not about to kiki and giggle with nobody's anything. You better scoot your ass over there with this. So, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> scoot away. So, wait a minute now. So, Nene and Greg are still together. Yes. But she's dating this other guy. Or no, hanging she, out, no, hanging she out with this other guy. She was just being, um, friendly. She, she was too Overly friendly. friendly. They said like, she was being friendly cat. My, my, the side of my boob shouldn't be touching the side of my husband's friends, chest, or nothing like that. Like, I mean, if y'all in the car standing in this pack, though, you know, something yeah, like that. It'd be like that. It'd be quiet there. Well, yeah. In the choir stand, of course, that would be acceptable. This fool. Oh, my God. I'm just saying. I mean, baby, what do you want me to do? I was singing for the Lord. Yeah. Like, what you but you know what else Nene said? She said that she was, um, that um, Joe Biden should reach out to her because she can give him some read sessions so he, that he can be there ready to, um, to read for the next, reach uh, out. For that next little debate. Definitely. They said that he, he needs some help. Hell of illness. Help. But look, it was some more. So there's this friend of Wendy Williams, right? Uh -oh. And she looked like Lil' Kim, like by the face, like Ooh. people trying to figure out if they had the sur same surgeon. Ooh. Or maybe it was a filter. But anyway, Ooh. so she going in they on make Nene, a little Kim filter. Just about talking about how, <laughs> you know, Lil' Kim wasn't looking bad the other day. I don't want to just, you know, Ooh. hang around the dry. We love you, Kim. But um at any any you know, she ain't looking like a ripped jacket or nothing. But anyway, um, like she went in face. on her, uh, talking about how she was just kind of mooching off of Wendy Williams and all of this kind of stuff. Trying to use no, a girl that looked like Lil' Kim, which is Wendy Williams' friend. Oh. Then she accused, wait a minute, then she said French Montana and NeNe were sitting by each other on a boat and he grabbed her, her uh, personal business. NeNe is friendly cat, ain't she? So listen, Damn. NeNe releases a picture of her looking at her first time about, I'm trying to find that cat that, uh, that a French Montana then snatched. Baby, it ain't in your purse. It's probably in his pocket. You should have opened his pocket. But I mean, why would French Montana? And, okay. Okay. Yeah, French that Montana. That just seem a little. Uh, you know, whenever whenever you get money and cocaine in the same room, baby. Well, you just, got a point. Anything you know, can happen. Anything yeah. goes. Yeah, because <laughs> you know. other than now, that explains it. I give you that. Okay. okay. That, them two elements in the room, you know, things turn into wonder. It'd be wonderful. 
Listen, so get? the zoo in the UK, right? They had to get rid of their parents. Oh, oh, I, mean, oh yeah, I, I love this story. Out. I they love was cussing story. out the, the visitors. But, then, you know, just go to show you that these animals be knowing there's something wrong with humans. They be knowing. That's why they be cussing I wonder what out. they were saying. They was they using saying, cuss, get me the F word and cage. everything. And here's the funny part about it. They were from different people. These kid parents came yeah. from, they weren't all together when they got them, right? Yeah. So when they got together. They learned how they to cuss. Learned, so one of, them, one of them knew something. Yeah. They taught the rest of them. And they were cussing with each other, said, I gotta which had to be hilarious. Get us out of here. Give See, and then when they put them out for the public, they started cussing at the public. The public loved it. Then except they, they well, they're kids, so those little kids that 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 wasn't cool. He's like, Mom, what's that? I need y'all to listen. <laughs> I need y'all to listen. This is what? exactly how it went down. The dogs. Yeah, you see what the hair Yeah, that's how. That's what the parents was doing. Except the bird, except they was using cuss words. Right, they, but they doing the same thing. I call thing. them they heckle and jekyll. Time. Heckle and jekyll. It's it's a zoo over here, baby. Yeah. A zoo of dogs. I love it. I'd love to have one of those parents. Werewolves. He be cussing everybody out when he be coming to the ah, for asshole. And you know it was it, that moon been out lately with all it these. It was a full moon. With all these full moon last night and tonight. Well, I got the oh, manifest. Ooh. Yes, baby. What else you got before we get to Wood Your Rabbit? I got a couple of Wood Your Rabbit. It's only a couple for you. So the the brat surprises Lisa Ray on Fox. So oh yeah, with, uh, I right? think it's her Claudia sister. Jordan's show, her but it's her uh, Lisa Ray. Yeah, that their sister, their sister. Selena Johnson and Vivica. Oh, who show? That's they what they got a little talk show. Yeah, Fox, okay. it's Fox. So I. The queens of some, some. Anyway, uh, you'll find it. Just Google what I'm about to I'm say. I'm not going to Google it. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay, not so, that interested, but I'm interested. I guess Lisa Ray, Ray didn't know that the brat was married or getting married. Like She's she already got know. married. I thought she got married. Right. But with, How does with she the not problem know is, her sister is getting listen. married? That's just, her sister. She don't know. Listen. She knew. She knew. Just she knew. No, she, so I knew. How does she not know? Exactly her point. Just listen to this girl. Okay. Lord, have, he gets so ripped. Oh, God, hey, somebody give him some CBD. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to order some in his name. Chadrick <laughs> Bozeman, we need the CBD oil. <laughs> so, anyway, um, she comes on there to tell her sister happy birthday. Mm-hmm. And so, when she pops in, we got somebody, a special guest, and it's the brat, like you said, they sisters. And Lisa Ray gets kind of choked up, and you know, like, you know how you so upset, you start crying? She was yeah. trying to hold it back, but they kept trying to figure out what was going on. And finally, she just went in on the breath, like, oh, okay, you can basically, this is not her words verbatim, but basically, like, oh, you can come up on, you know, in front of everybody, like, this is Hollywood, and thinking I'm not going to say nothing, you want to you wanna come like that. But I didn't even know that you got married. Like, we sisters, I ain't talked to you in six months. Ooh. You know, she said, and then I, you got the blogs asking me what's going down. And I'm like, what's going on? Because I don't know what's going on. You know, and she was going in. She told the rest of the, the rest of the girls was like, calm down. She was like, I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. I said, you know what? This is Lisa Ray. I have to say I love her. And then she, <laughs> she was like, like I'm not Hollywood. That's what she said. Like, I'm hood, hood. Right. She, <laughs> Lisa Ray, baby. That's my girl. Lisa Ray. I like Lisa Ray. So she cussed her sister out, um, basically. And that she had that tone of a cussing. And then is this a, is this a show on television? It's an internet show. Internet show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the Red Table Talk. Yeah. Okay. I might, it's a good show. I might know? want to see that. <laughs> see her cussing the brat out. <laughs> I like both of them actually, so but I it's hard to believe you you would do something get married and not tell your sister. Yeah, she That's said we didn't talk about her living. Engaged. She said they engaged, talking people. about, you know, y'all living in your truth. We've talked about you living in your truth and all that. So yeah. she was really upset because yeah. it's like we've had these conversations. Yeah. So but least, she but what she what she was made what she was mad about was the fact that she said she came out and did not, you know, and and, and she didn't talk to her since she had, you know, did all that, like did her transition, like came out or whatever and Mm -hmm. was in a relationship with somebody and stuff. And she was basically saying like, I'm happy for you, but you got me looking crazy because you ain't even tell me nothing. Like you didn't, you didn't say nothing about it or whatever, or, you know, get me abreast of how you wanted me to handle it and stuff before then. I don't think she was like salty about the fact of her being on there or nothing like that. It was more so like, yeah. girl, I ain't talked to you in all this time or whatever. And yeah. now is the time because she may have been trying to call her or something and she wasn't even responding or something like that. So it's like, oh, she, but she knew that. She know her sister. That's well, why Brad was holding her face. Like, and you know, again, yes. she know her sister. She right. know like she was going to clown on her. Right. That was between sisters. Yeah. So that's, you know, it was she, they just put they it on right, TV. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Right. I mean, but yeah, but that's how we play it all it, out anyway. It, 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 they would have had that same argument without the cameras. Yeah. So we just got to see. That's yeah. all. 
They'll we be got fine. to see some realness. They'll be fine. Finally. They'll be fine. Did, did y'all know it was ten, uh, T-Pain's birthday yesterday? T-Pain. He turned 35. Oh, that's all? Yeah. He's only 35? I know. That's what I was thinking. I said, they must have Oh, been he alive looks 45. So. Easy. No, he don't. Oh, that Negro looks old. <laughs> that boy looks old. You get on my nerves. No, you no, trying to 35. Somebody I thought he was in his 30s when he came thought, out. Right. Exactly. Which was 15 years ago. No. Oh, my God. He been out 15 he years. He have. You right. You right. 2005 ish Yeah. So, right. the way he said, he, he wasn't even old enough to be talking about what he was singing about. What are we talking about? Yes, he was. He'd have been 12. Come on, stop. <laughs> Kids these days are doing it on um, 13 and a half. He wasn't no 20 years old when he came out. He's, he right. looked 35 when he came out. So, no, he didn't. That Negro line about Jerry. You know who Ooh. else just had a baby, too? Ooh. Who? Neo. I mean, why I say Neo? Neo. I'm sorry, not Neo. No, no, no not Neo. Neo. Usher. Um, Usher. Usher and Kevin Hart. They both had, had baby Hart. girls yesterday. Yeah. We knew Kevin was coming. I didn't know Usher. Yeah, Usher had a baby. Her name is... Sovereign Bo, yeah. Sovereign Bo, Bo yeah. Raymond, yeah. and um, Kevin who, Hart's baby's yeah. name is no one cares. Kid, no. kid, kid it's we, we'll find name. out. We'll find out. And the middle name, I mean, her middle name is my last name Hart. So my? I mean, yeah, like her first name is something. My heart. It start with a K. I should like move like a ninja it. when it comes to his relationship. Right. He just pop up like boom, like damn. Where you yeah, from? Yeah, keep him, keep everybody out your shit. So you know. Did you see what happened the last time he had somebody in there? He had he was with that old woman, right? And everything, well, and he stayed in the tabloids when he was with that. Who old is the woman. one he's got now? Is she old too? She probably twelve. Why he not no, playing her? Like, y'all, y'all don't be he sure likes y'all older had twelve year olds. Women. He likes older women. Y'all keep them. Why, why down she ain't up on charges? His first the, wife in the top drawer. Who them. was his first wife? Oh, his hair keeper hair. She was old. Why she? She he was grown. Time? He was grown. She was like seventy though. Yeah, that's still technically that's like no. I think they had a statutory. <laughs> he was he was grown when they got married. That's some type of statutory. He was only twelve. <laughs> he was Tell twelve. Him. Yeah, you know. Uh, also celebrating a birthday, uh, President Jimmy Carter. All right. Jimmy Carter, ninety six years old. He's still here. Still alive. Yes. Dang. Still I think we should go back to all these presidents and ask them to denounce white supremacy. Okay, go ahead. He did not. He denounced it. He never condoned any of that. Jimmy Jimmy Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Carter. I think was a very kind man, and through his efforts, if you ever follow him, uh, he's done a lot of good, mm -hmm. okay. a lot of humanity work. I mm -hmm. can dig it. Good guy. Good mm -hmm. guy. I can dig it. God bless him. Mm -hmm. Zach Galifianakis is 51. Oh, so do you know um, Chris Jenner is accused of sexual harassment? I believe it. Her and, her and Chloe. I'm, yeah, her and Chloe. Both of them? And I'm like, hold on, dude. What you? What's they probably suit. They said they don't want no parts of them girls. Because if they was attracted to them, it wouldn't be harassment. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. And I heard that Chris, the word is that Chris Jenner plays that black man to be with her. Like, she, oh. he gets paid. To I, be I, with I, her. I ain't mad at it. I would, I would, yeah, yeah, hello. I mean, I'm not either. I feel out the application. <laughs> and you know Jussie Smollett, right? Mm -hmm. How could well, we not? His sister, Journey Smollett. Okay. Oh, yeah. Smollett Bell now. She started, she's been an actress for a long time. Yes. 34 years old. She's in that new show, Love Country. I think it is Love County or Love Country. And she was in Have that. Have you heard of that? Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be a really hot show. I haven't seen it yet. She was in the Tyler Perry flick where she had caught AIDS. She's been in a couple of, I've, I've oh, yeah. a couple of Tyler Perry mm -hmm. movies, hasn't she? She's been in a lot of It's stuff. a lot of them, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a lot of them, ain't it? Tyler Perry movies? Some kids. But it is that whole yeah, family. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, now yep. y'all saying something new to me. Yeah, okay. he got. I think there's another younger brother. It's a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. they was in. They had a movie or something. With, a show with a couple with of, them of them on there. Yeah, really? like it was. Yeah, back in the day. Okay. I don't know what the name of it was. I just. All right, y'all ready for Would You Rather? Yeah. Hit me with. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you rather spend the day with your favorite movie star or your favorite athlete? Movie star, athlete. Why? Because you know what, Viola Davis acts so well. You swear she is who she is. Yeah. Like I yeah. know she yeah. no law. She got a law degree. <laughs> she got a law degree. her bed. She got a like, <laughs> She played that role. I I've got to meet her. And she's yeah. incredible. She's so yeah. she like Denzel Washington. Like to me, they they are the goats. Absolutely, absolutely, I agree. Uh, and why your favorite athlete, Fifi? Because athletes be um, blowing money fast, and um, they be going to a good party. Time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we. Just, if I'm, I, I just don't want to be with my favorite um, movie star because they probably boring. Who is your favorite athlete? 
Oh, but you'll take you'll pick one, you'll find one. Mm -hmm. And who's your favorite movie star? It won't be Ocho Cinco. You just said he was boring. I'm saying I said movie stars are probably boring. They might be, but I think I would I would I would like to uh hang out with uh Denzel mm -hmm. or Jamie Foxx. You know? Denzel. I like both rock of them. star lifestyles though. Jamie's probably a little more fun because he's, you know, uh out younger and mm -hmm. more out there. But Denzel would be interesting to talk to. I hear you don't want to hang out with Jamie. He might whoop something up out on you. Did you no, know? No, no, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that happening. No, no, no. I don't uh, know if that's what I heard. I or Halle Berry. She's she probably boring as hell. You know, you know oh, she, yeah. she, she probably is, cool. but that's okay. Boring's good. Boring, boring's okay. We ain't got to be, you know. Boring, right? Halle Berry, okay? This it's is Halle Berry. Day, though, so, like, it I ain't going to be boring. She's going to do something to have some fun. She's, you know who she's dating? Van Hunt. Who's that? The singer. Uh, and he's black, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Amazing. Black. Well, that's her second singer. Is that her second black man too? Yeah, she dated, she married uh, uh, Eric <laughs> Benet. <laughs> Van Hunt is like a real soul. That's why I love it, because you say what's on my mind that I refuse to say. Like, even I'd be like, I gotta, yeah, I'm tapping out. I'm tapping and, out. And here come Fee. Boom. Thank you. Point. <laughs> she right. But yeah, so, so she's giving the brothers another chance. <laughs> oh, this one was some crazy. Help me, Jesus. This is his, this is his song. Why are you in the background? Because you're playing that one. What are you doing? <laughs> I got to get you out of here. This hit pause. How can I get you? They're unprofessional. I'm not. They are. Y'all remember this one? Why are you even outside with your... They locked it out. What? They locked okay. it out? <laughs> I'm about to call CPS on right here. He's been in his pajamas all day. <laughs> I guess you ain't got to get dressed when you go to school for, from home. No, I that's a Let kid that, that lady to said, yes, you is. for him to get dressed. He, well, you, you lost that fight doing. today because he's still in his pajamas. Yeah, sometimes I be tired. I don't want to argue with these kids. Listen. Cause then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to whoop you. You gonna eat. funny, funny stuff. Funny, you know, funny stuff. On the stuff. back side, you know. All right, no y'all want another one? Goes on here. Would you rather travel the U.S. by motorhome or by plane? You know, cause by you plane. See I just want to get off that runway every time. It is. If we was just traveling, traveling, to sightseeing across. Oh, I'm gonna go in motorhome, flat out. Yeah. I, I mean, you ain't got to be nowhere in a hurry. I'm just sightseeing, you travel. Yeah, I want to go to the motorhome. Yeah, me too. Mm. Yeah. Oh, um, no, I ain't been on the road like that. Uh, okay, okay. Would you rather have an un... Oh, cooking. I mean, I'm only going to wear so no, many clothes. I mean, clothes. to the clothing store. <laughs> I'm only going to wear so many outfits. I'm good on that. Raquel, the food always, never I'm stops. Gonna food. I'm going to just come and get some hers. <laughs> I need to go to the clothing store. She always got a plate. I'm That's a no brainer. You. This is the outro, y'all. This is the outro. Y'all say your goodbye. Say good night, Fifi. Night, night, church. Peace. Say good night, Rocky Road. See y'all later. Follow me on RockyRoadMedia.com. Peace. We out.